One of the most frequently asked questions I get is, how long do these Coleman one pound tanks last? And I usually just say, you know, not that long. But to be honest, I'm not really sure because I typically use the 15 or 20 pound tanks connected to the Weber Q through the hose. But I really want a definitive answer to give people. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to cook something up. It's gonna be some chicken thighs. I'm gonna indirect grill them and they're probably gonna take about 40 minutes. We're gonna do it on medium heat. And then after they're done, I'm just gonna let the grill keep on going on medium heat and we'll see how long one of these tanks lasts. I'm really not sure, could be three hours, could be two hours, could be four hours, I'm not sure. We're gonna find out today, so stick around. All right, here we go. First thing we need to do is plug in our propane bottle. Start a timer using my iPhone. And we'll turn on the gas and start the Weber Q. Fires right up first time, every time. And while the grill preheats, I'm adding a pouch filled with pecan wood chips. And maybe about 10 minutes later, We've got our grill preheated. We're gonna add a heat shield and then our roasting rack, which has two chicken thighs that I use just a basic barbecue rub on. And then we're gonna close the lid and check on these in about 20 minutes. And here we are now, about 20 minutes later, and we're just gonna rotate these chicken thighs around to make sure they're getting cooked evenly. You can see that smoke coming out of that smoke pouch. Who says you can't get smoky flavor on a gas grill? And now we're about 40 minutes in. And these things are ready to come off the grill. They're looking pretty good. Look how crispy that skin looks. All right, I don't know if you can see, but a rainstorm has just rolled in. I don't know if we can see this, if it'll focus. Maybe I can pull it back a little. You can hear the thunder. Two hours and 34 minutes. We're still going strong. Rainstorm. We got thunder, we got lightning but the Coleman one pound tank is still going strong on the Weber Q. Okay, so it is raining out here. The temperature has dropped dramatically and you can see that it's affected the temperature of the grill. So it was at 450 degrees. We've now gone down to 400. And before it was even lower than 400. And as you can see, there's still some flames in there. We're still running. It seems like we're still running perfectly fine. And for time, let's check the timer. Can get it? Yep, two hours, 49 minutes. So going on three hours, looking pretty good. Okay, so here we are now. Three hours, 26 minutes. 425 degrees. Have a little dinner. A little pasta putinesca. Keep me company. We'll see how much longer this one tank goes for. Right now, three and a half hours. I'm pretty impressed. Okay, so here we are now at three hours and 45 minutes. And the temperature gauge is starting to drop. So I'm thinking the flame has gone out. And yes, the flame is out. 
so three hours and 45 minutes pretty much on the nose that is how long a Coleman one pound tank lasts on the Weber Q at medium heat three hours and 45 minutes okay so there you have it three hours and 45 minutes on a single one pound Coleman portable propane tank using the Weber Q on medium heat if you're going to use it on low heat with a low and slow cook you're going to get a little bit more time on high heat you're going to get a little bit less time of course three hours and 45 minutes seems like a long time but i would always bring a backup or two camping with you or tailgating wherever you're going to go bring a backup or two because these things they seem to run out on me all the time that's why i prefer to use the bigger 15 or 20 pound tanks if you found this video helpful please leave a like leave a comment down below in the comment section subscribe and hit the notification button so you'll know when new videos come out and of course keep on grilling